I'll tell you what this is. This is a 1958 Corvette with an LS7 engine in it. Howdy folks, Tool Hombre here, and today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing of the DeWalt FlexVolt DCD-130B. It is not the FlexVolt Advantage. It is not the Power Detect. It is not 18 volts, uh, 20 volts. This is 60 volts. Now, it's not a hammer drill, so it doesn't win the title of strongest hammer drill in the world. It only has drill function. It doesn't have hammer drill mode. It's a one speed, so it can only move at 600 RPMs. And that one speed is perfect for mixing. So primarily, it's a concrete mixer plaster mixer, paint mixer, uh, that sort of thing. So, and most people use it for that. But I have seen a few videos of people who use it uh, for like six inch hole saws. Hammer drills will struggle, I think, more so than this. This is going to be a beast. It's 60 volts and it's also, um, what I'm gathering here so far is that it's pretty massive. So let's uh, pull out the utility knife and get started. And this is just a tool only kit. Chuck holder. Okay, that's it. Pretty simple box. Um, now, this being the flex volt, it appears that the flex volt tools are actually made in China. So, this is not one of the USA made. Now, holding this for a little while, the one thing that I notice about this is that this is a much higher quality fin fit and finish than what I'm used to from the Home Depot line of DeWalt tools. Um, this housing, it looks expertly molded and I don't know if it's powder coat or paint and the gaskets in between, the way it lines up is, you know, this has kind of the same look and feel as one of those old Craftsman metal body drills. I like the, the detents on the, um, the forward reverse direction. I like the position of the light. Uh, everything on this tool feels really quality. The handle feels really good. That's uh, just a nice rubber over mold, really ergonomic. Um, I've hear, heard bad reviews about the handle attachment and how cheap and plasticky it feels. This is a metal handle with a rubber over mold. This is fantastic. We know DeWalt can do these things. I'll tell you what this is. This is a 1958 Corvette with an LS7 engine in it. I bring it up because we usually associate Makita or uh, Hitachi, Metabo, HPT, Hikoki, depending on where you are, with high quality. This, I'm going to say it, competes. This, this tool looks like they spent a ton of R&D on, and it's been around for a few years. Uh, it has the E-clutch system on it, which is very similar to what I think Makita started with, and now on you can find on the Cobalt high-end tools and also the Flex tools, uh, but they weren't the first to use it. I just believe that DeWalt can do better than what they've done so far, and that's why I purchased this drill, is, to see what DeWalt's capable of and holding this thing at least. And I'm gonna do a little bit of drilling, but there's nothing I have that's really gonna tax this thing. Just the fit and finish quality wise, DeWalt can do it. That's the first thing I notice about this tool. So here we have a large drill, the rigid octane. And here we have the flex bolt drill mixer. Yeah. So this is a four inch hole saw. So let's drill a four inch hole. Make sure I don't hit my table here. And this may be the dullest hole saw blade in history because I used it to cut a bunch of metal. Um, but let's we'll see what happens.
No heat. So, I said four inch hole saw, not a problem. I've seen people use six inch hole saws on this. Rigid octane. Can do with a four inch hole saw. So that stalled twice, and my table's not the best. So it was a similar kind of jerky motion where I have to actually put my hip up against the board to keep it from twisting. And no stall, stalled twice. A powerful hammer drill, a powerful hammer drill. 60 volts drill. Um, you know, there's no hammer function going on when you're doing the wood. It was a drill mode, sorry. It was a drill mode. The batteries on both were full when they started. This one's down to two bars now. That one's down to two bars now. So, yeah, the 60 volt, 600 RPMs. So that's pure power right there. Larger motor, geared down, has more power than this one, which is also 600 RPMs in speed one. So, um, stalled twice, didn't stall. Running 54 volts at a certain wattage runs cooler than running 18 volts at that wattage or 24 volts. So I think they've been able to future protect themselves so that they can come up with lighter, faster, stronger drills in the future. This is a one speed, so it has to make all its torque in one speed so it doesn't get to rely on a gearbox the way this rigid does uh, or the way that the DCD 999 does. So they have the 60 volt motors, they have the 60 volt controllers, they have the 60 volt batteries. They have the ability to cast beautiful, uh, strong parts. They have the ability to make fantastic chucks that feel really good to operate. And so we know you have it in you, Dual. But make a three speed hammer drill that runs on 60 volts and see how small, light, fast, compact you can really make it. Because holding this, I have a different opinion of Dual than I do holding some of their other box store tools. Now this one you're most likely not going to see in a Home Depot, even though it's a flex bolt. They don't typically carry it in stock, you have to special order it. So I special ordered it from the DeWalt store on Amazon. 200 bucks, I don't even know how they made money on this thing. It seems so well built. So if we know that they can do it, I'm, mosquitoes, sorry. If we know that they can do it, then I'd like to see them do it. That's all. So next step is purely to tear it down. So we're gonna get our screwdrivers and impacts ready and we're gonna pull this baby apart. So pretty. But gotta do what we gotta do. Stay tuned.